something with this episode of Scratching Holly. <laughs> Hello, folks. Hello, folks. Welcome to this episode of The Average Joe Florida. We are on our way out again. We're going to dinner this evening to our chain restaurant. There could be one near you called The Melting Pot. It's a personal fondue restaurant where you actually cook your own food at your table in front of you. So we're gonna take, uh, take you with us. We used to have one up in New York. We went to, it's the kind of place you go to once a year, maybe Valentine's Day, New Year's, a birthday, something like that. It's not an everyday restaurant, every week restaurant, because it could be a little pricey. But it's really fun, it's cool. So we used to go in New York and they closed that one down. So we got to uh, Central Florida. We found one that's only, 15 miles from the house, so that's not such a big deal, and it's all back road. So we're gonna head on over, and we'll take you with us, and we'll show you what the melting pot's all about, and I can go to one of your hometown, right? Yes, I like the melting pot. Yes, very much so. All right, we'll see you there. All right, we've arrived at the melting pot. Okay, so they've given us our own small table here in the front, actually, right near the wine cellar. <laughs> This is the melting pot and we're in Dr. Phillips, Central Florida. Welcome in, how are you doing? Good, how are you today? Okay, now there's the menu for their what is complete smoking? experience. Uh, that's the steam coming out of this. He's heating this, the melted cheese. Okay. He's heating up our fondue pot. Sure it wasn't on fire. No, not a, but that would be bad. So you can see the different things. You can just pause it if you want to. The menu's big, the table is small. And that's what you get to choose from. And then they have an a la carte menu as well. Not as blurry this time, it looks good. <laughs> Some fondues. And there we go. Each restaurant is a little different anyway, so there's no guarantee this will be at your restaurant in your hometown, but it gives you an idea of what they have here. All right. So, what do we decide on friends? We're gonna do the bigger night out the bigger night with the lobster out. tail. And I had a question about that. It comes with salmon. <laughs> yes. Can we substitute like more chicken instead of salmon? Happily, of course. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm not salmon fans. Alright. Uh, carry on. Just good to go. So we got the basic Wisconsin cheddar, and it's with beer, I believe, right? Yes. Yeah, so Sam Adams beer base. Very cool. And I already added garlic, mustard powder, and that Sam Adams. Okay. And that Wisconsin cheddar, which is cheddar and Swiss mix. Very nice. Yep. So cool. You know, this thing was already about 300 degrees by the time I got over here. So no. Nope. Steam was doing. That's why. Pretty so fast. Quickly. Yeah, very quickly. Which chair okay? Which chair is fine. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it gives it that flavor and that color that we like. Yes, it does. Yeah, we were lucky in New York. We had a melting pot literally 10 miles from our house. It was great. And then that one, they're all independently. So he closed down. And the next one was like 50 miles away. So we didn't go too often we were after excited that. excited when we found we... out there was one here. <laughs> yeah, we're on vacation. Oh, no. We're, oh, we no. moved down here now oh. back in December. So we're awesome. locals now. Well, welcome. Thank welcome, you. Thank welcome. you. Thank you. It looks great. You looks can dive beautiful. Right in and enjoy. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you all very much. And here is the board of dipping stuff. There's all kinds of breads and apples and, and vegetables on there and stuff. There's some brown bread. I see wheat bread. Oh, and look, there's the celery. Oh, white broccoli over there. What do they call that? Cauliflower. 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 Carrots apples. and apples. And pretzel bread. So Very cool. So we're gonna when you get here. Yep. They have silverware. Not the normal silverware, but mm -hmm. this kind of silverware. Right. So then you spear your what product you want. and you dip put it in, in the cheese, and you're good to go. Very cool. So we're gonna dig in, and we'll be back in a minute. Spear something. You're gonna spear a piece of uh, cauliflower. Cauliflower. It's very hot. It's at 300 degrees. You gotta let it cool. And that's it. And you dip it in the cheese, like I classic let that fondue. Sit for a minute. Okay. Normally we just dip it really quick and pull okay. it out, but that's fine. You want to let it sit for a minute. It's perfectly fine. And you have a little plate you can put on over there if you need to. And that's it. So you All eat right. your first course, which is your cheese dip. All right, very good. So we're gonna try it. It's been so long since you've had this. Forgot just how good it is. I'm gonna spear an apple here, and you've got a piece of bread. This is so good. It's really good, isn't it? Cheese fondue. Yeah, this is just Wisconsin I can have a cheddar. Whole meal on cheese just the cheese fondue. fondue. Hmm. Very good. 
I make my cheese fondue and then I put it on the plate so it can cool down. <laughs> it's very warm. It's very warm at first. Mm -hmm. Very good. Cheese was good. It was delicious, right? Cheese was oh, the excellent. Cheese was uh, the best thing. Yeah, it was excellent. Get a whole meal of just the cheese. <laughs> cheese was so good. So they brought us. This is our cooking pot, and this is we got the mojo, which is a Caribbean flavor. Kind of a. It has a little bit of citrus, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of cilantro. It's a. It's very very fresh, very Caribbean. They call it right, a mojo Caribbean right. flavor. Caribbean. Yeah, almost. It has a little bit of jerk seasoning, and I think not much. And a little garlic. So this is what we're going to be cooking our food in when our food arrives. And we got a mixture. It's going to be of chicken and steak and shrimp. And you got lobster tails. Yes. And we cook them in these pots. And he'll explain to us how that works when he gets back over here. And we'll show you that part of the video. In case he didn't explain it much when he gets back, this is the cooking times for the foods. How long to keep the food in for? Sirloin, one to two minutes. Steak, two to four minutes. The chicken and pork and duck, two to five minutes. And it tells you how to do that. And there's the sauces that it comes with. The green goddess sauce, which I love. Not a big oh, gorgonzola. Teriyaki glaze, yogurt curry, ginger plum, and garlic Dijon butter. So I like green goddess and the teriyaki glaze. But a lot of people like the different flavors. It comes with all those sauces. All right, our moho has begun boiling. Still waiting for the server to bring our dipping food to cook, but it is boiling up a storm there. That's a rolling boil. It smells good too. You smell the garlic. Okay, and there are our salads. These are the house salads. They're house dressing. This. Uh, proprietary product called garlic and wine. It's a powder. It's garlic powder and wine powder and you put it on whatever you want. It's a seasoning. I think they actually sell it here too. They do. So here we go. Salads. Green goddess, sriracha lime, gordonzola. Got it. Teriyaki curry and ginger plum. Got it. Our big granite out right here. That's shrimp, mushroom spaghetti, teriyaki, filet mignon, double chicken, mushroom spaghetti, and shrimp. Perfect. Our lobster tail. I just cut in three pieces for you so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Our plates right here. Yep, thank you. One and two. And two. Lots of veggies right here. Veggies are the best. Cut Absolutely. Broccoli, uh, garlic potatoes, and oh, mushroom caps. Beautiful. We love the veggies. And then our Dijon garlic butter. Okay. And a social rescue spoon in case anything goes wrong, okay? That's right. That's good. Perfect. This is already out of oil. Perfect. So you all you guys gotta do is uh, put, put it in through your skewers. Yep. About two to three minutes and everything. Except the chicken right here is just three to five, okay? Got it. Personally recommend with the lobster, scoop it in your dressing spoon, pop it in for a minute and a half, yeah. take it out and you're good to go. Excellent. Awesome. You'll enjoy Very good. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Do you have broccoli in there? Yes. There is some in the box. Yes, there is. I don't do mushrooms, so can yeah, I, I get the some some more, yeah. extra uh, broccoli? I got you. Broccoli? Perfect. Thank you, you so much. Just broccoli? Just broccoli. Do you want no, just just the breakfast. Just broccoli. Sounds good. Thank you so perfect. much. Appreciate it. Make me happy. There we go. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. All right, so let's start all right, cooking. So everything is raw. Yep, and you cook it all as he went okay. through. So I will yellow. show you how it's done. All right. So I have the blue. You're blue, and I am oh, yellow. If you're at a table for six, you have six different colors. Right, right. And you stick it in for three to five minutes for chicken, and you heard them one to two minutes for everything else. All right, that's it. That's it. And you let it sit in. they go. You don't have to have the rescue spoon in there, I don't think. Nope, unless you need to rescue them. And this is new. So then you leave that in there for like, uh, what do you say, four minutes? Three to five minutes three for the five. chicken. And everything else is two minutes. And it's basically. still boiling, so. Right, and that's a nice there. size lot to tell you got this time, too. Yes. All Very right. nice. All right, so we're going to dig in and we'll so tell you how it goes. That's how it works. Pretty easy. You can see we got a bunch of stuff going in there now. We put some of the bigger broccoli in, actually. How's it taste? Pretty good? It's good. It's really good. We ordered um, extra broccoli. And the I vegetables, like they'll give you, yeah, they'll give you as much vegetables as you want. Yeah. Yeah, so. Very the cool. The shrimp came out great. Yeah. Very cool. Chicken, you try. Is that a shrimpy? It's a piece of chicken and it's hot. Is it hot? Uh -huh. And the, the sauces are good, too. All different sauces. Yes. Very cool. So that's the remnants of our meal. It was well, well eaten. It was very, very good. It had a great flavor. The mojo is a, is a wonderful uh, cooking style. It's got such a nice flavor to it. And the chicken had a good flavor to it too. Itself it had a nice seasoning. And the two steaks, the one was a filet mignon, which is very good. I put the, the teriyaki glaze on it. And the other one was uh, a teriyaki chicken under its, a teriyaki steak under itself. A little, not as tender as the, as the filet filet, but it was good. Not too bad. So now we're just waiting for our, we got the bananas foster chocolate dessert, so we're about to come on out. It doesn't look like a lot of food when you bring it out. Nope. But when you start cooking it and you start eating it, it's a lot of food. It's a lot of food there, that's for sure. Yep. More than you think. There you go. Yep. Excellent. Bananas foster. Got that for you right here. Looks, looks great. Our plates. A pound cake, rice krispies, brownies, blondies, the whole nine yards right there. You got it. Honestly, 
can't go wrong, Jeff. Nope. Perfect. Yellow curry and then ginger plum. Teriyaki's good with steak, but ginger plum's good with the pork and chicken. Do you like cinnamon? Sure. And it's bananas foster, so there is clay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bananas foster is burning off. Yeah, I wouldn't stick your hand in there. They are over the <laughs> over the flames. Yeah, you can. Ooh, it's chocolate, it's melting. He's letting it heat up, it's still warming up in there. There you go. It's still melting. All right, there we go. The alcohol's still burning off. And you just dip these, you, like you said, you have brownies, blondies. I see pound cake or waffles, actually. You see marshmallows, chocolate marshmallows. And this is a banana. Right there, yeah, banana swaster. See the banana? There you go, banana swaster. Yeah, bananas, pound cake, everything in here. Strawberries. All right, yeah. so we're gonna dig in and enjoy this. It looks good. And that's about it. So that's some strawberries. Yeah. And we hope you like coming to the melting pot with us here. Like I said, there's going to be one of these in your home from the town too, probably. They're all over the country. They're not necessarily everywhere, and each one is, I think, independently owned and operated by franchisees, so you never know. So. Um, so everything's a little different here or there, but uh, it's good if you like it. And uh, if you like what we do, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time, folks. Yeah, we, we hope, hope you, you enjoyed, enjoyed coming along. Yep, yeah. to the melting pot. Take care, folks, and we'll see you soon.